So let's proceed to my topic, the Rule 12, Custody and Disposition of Seized Items, Equipment, Paraphernalia, Conveyances, and Instruments. So, Section 1, the Custody and Disposition of Seized Items, the Custody and Disposition of Seized Items shall be in accordance with applicable of laws or rules promulgated by the concerned government ag agency. So here in section one discusses the uh, rules, this laws outline the procedures and requirements for uh, handling, storing, documenting, and dispos disposing of seized items. So if there are uh, items that is seized, uh, there are government agency uh, that will handle and documenting the seized items. So let's proceed to section 2. Section 2, the procedures in the absence of applicable laws or rules promulgated by the concerned government agency, the following procedure shall be observed. So uh, in, sim in simpler terms, when items are seized by the authorities such as the law enforcement agencies, there are rules, rules and laws that determine what happens to those items. These rules outline how the items should be taken care, stored, documented, and ultimately disposed. The purpose of these rules is to ensure fairness, transparency, and protection of everyone's right involved in the seizure process. So one apprehending officer having initial custody and control of seized items, equipment, paraphernalia, conveyances, and instruments shall physically inventory and whenever practicable, photograph the same in the presence of the person from whom such items were seized. So basically, when there are no existing laws or rules from government agency that apply to a certain situation, the document of or guidelines state that a specific procedure will be followed instead. It outlines the steps or guidelines that should be followed in the absence of those laws and rules. So, number two, thereafter, the apprehending officer shall submit to the issuing court the return of the search warrant within five days from date or seizure in case of warrant less arrest, submit within the five days from date of seizure in the inventory report, compliance report, photographs, rep representative samples, and other pertinent documents to the public prosecutor for appropriate action. So, it means that when the police officer takes things from someone during an arrest, they have to make a list of what they took and if possible, the pic take pictures of those things and they have to do this in front of the person from whom they took the items. This is done to have a record of that what was seized and to make sure everything is documented properly. So the third one, upon motion by any interest party, the court may direct the auction sale of seized items, equipment, paraphernalia, tools, or instruments of the crime. The court shall, after hearing, fix the minimum bid price based on the recommendation of the concerned government agency. So the sheriff shall conduct the auction. So, after, now, if someone involved in the case asks for it, the court can sell the things that were taken through an auction. Before the auction, the court will decide on the minimum price at which the items can be sold based on the advice of the government agency involved. So the auction will be conducted with a sheriff or someone authorized by the court. So for the auction's sale shall be with notice to the, to the accused, the person, the person from whom the items were seized, or the owner thereof and the concerned government agency. So, in simpler terms, it means that before the auction happens, the people who are connected to the case, such as the accused person, the person from whom the items were taken, the owner of the items, 
and the relevant government agency will be informed about the auction. They will receive a notice about it that they know what's happening and have a chance to participate or take any necessary action if they want to. The purpose is to ensure everyone involved is aware and has the opportunity to be involved in the auction process. So, see the uh, so the proceeds shall be held in trust and deposited with the government disposition depository bank for disposition according to the judgment. So, before uh, so five, the notice of auction shall be posted in three conspicuous places in the city or municipality where the items, equipment, paraphernalia, tools, or instruments of the crime were seized. So, the information about the auction will be put in three easy to see places in the city or town where the seized items were taken or confiscated. So, this, this is done so that people in the area can easily find out about the auction and have the chance to participate if they are interested. It ensures that the notice is visible to the public and allows them to be aware of the auction. Last, the proceeds shall be held in trust and dis deposited with the government deposit depository bank of disposition according to the judgment. So, the money earned from the auction will be kept safe in a government bank account. It will be managed responsibly on behalf of others. The exact way the money will be used or distributed will depend on the decision of the appropriate authority like court. The goal is to ensure that the money is handled correctly and used according to the judgment or ruling. Mm, that's it. Thank you.